All right, this Rev Dragon is a significant kill because it's officially my 6,000th Revenant killed. That's not so much as an Amulet of Avarice. Very, very shitty. Very shitty. I should have uh, two PvP weapons on average. Maybe a third. So, I have zero and not even an Amulet is kind of depressing. Calflight Queen has become a new AFK activity that I do while I edit because I pretty much just sit here with the regen bracelet on, Bud Fury. I don't even think I need a Bud Fury, but I have it anyway. And a scythe, and I literally just AFK, and I'm almost 500 KC. But I am done editing now, so I'm going to stop even though I'm so close to the milestone, just because I'll regret not having anything to do with AFK edit later. So, it's time to do something else. 300 Winter Todd kills, 125 League points, only 50 more, and then I'm completely done with Winter Todd. Alright, this is it. 2,000 Apatol laps. I can claim that backpack. I'll do that in just a second. I've also been doing Winter Todd. I don't need to go back up there. I've been doing Winter Todd. I only have six more cases to do, and that would be another 125 point task as well. All right, that is 350 Winter Todd kills, 125 more points. No more Temporas, no more Winter Todd. I'm done with all of those stupid scaling bosses, bro. I'm also gonna claim that monkey thing right now in a second. Yep, Kruk, transform, make him the princely monkey. Wear that, 250 more league points, 70.7K. What do I do now? I don't fucking know. Okay, it's time for some Fasani's Nightmare. I'm probably gonna die a bunch because for the first time I'm not using Drakens and I'm gonna be sitting pretty low HP and have limited food, so every fuck up I'll just die. And hopefully I just don't die that often. We'll see what happens. But yeah, the collection log is entirely empty, so uh, lots and lots of points to be gained here. Hopefully I don't go dry. Perfect Fasani's completed after 13 kill count. That's how bad I am here, bro. I keep making mistakes, but honestly, I, I'll definitely learn it and get it down. I think this will be okay. 25 for Sony kill count. The drop rate of an item is 1 in 55 apparently, so not that rare. That's definitely new PB. That was so fast. Damn, 359. <laughs> Jeez, okay. As you can see from my chat box, I've done a nightmare and I'm tilted, so I'm going to go do CMs instead. Okay, first raid back, 32 minutes. Wait, I got the omelet. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, what? Whoa, 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 what the fuck just happened? I just got an ancestral piece and omelet. Bro, I wish I get the dust. If I get the dust, that's 250 points. Oh my fucking god. No way, back to back purple. Yo, please be something new. Please be something new. Dex, okay. Uh, that's not a task, but I do need rigor. So that is very, very nice to have. And another purple. Oh my god. What is going on? Please be something new. Not a scroll. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. Two to three ancestral pieces already. That's so fucking good. If I get the top, that's 250 points. Okay, RIP to my AFK time, but that is a 500 Calfight Queen kills. 125 more league points. I am done with this boss entirely now. Alright, this should be chest number 250. And that is 125 league points. No more grubby keys for me. Which is kind of unfortunate, because that was my favorite AFK thing, because it was so chill. Alright, that is 50 Fasani's killed. Let me open the log. Not looking too hot. Okay. Receive 5 Chambers of Zerk Uniques. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something new. Come on. Ah, that's fine. At least I got 5 Uniques. That's 125 points. I'll take it. Another purple light, bro. Another purple light. Come on. Ancestral top. Something new, please. Oh, that's beautiful. D claws. Kill number 20, bro. This is looking good. Let me go ahead and equip these dragon claws. Another 125 league points. And in 5kc, I'll get another 125 as well for 25kc. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. When did I get an omelet? A second omelet. What the fuck? Bro, what? Oh my god, I got an omelet again! There we go, 25 Chambers of Xerox hard mode, 125 league points, although it is a white light. Alright, new purple. Please, please, please be something new. I would love an answer to the top, it would make my fucking day. Fuck yes! That's 250 points, boy! Holy fuck, bro, my first weapon, crossbow. That's 125 points. That's actually so good for Nightmare 2. Dude, I legit went 7,000 dry, and now I get the scepter and a bow in like an hour apart. What the fuck? Wait, is that... Wait, that's not a... That's a blue light. Does that mean it's green? I thought it was supposed to be a green light. Does that mean it's a unique and a... 
Oh my god. That's the dust. That's 250 points. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. That's legitimately fucking amazing. Alright, that is 50 chambers of Zerk challenge mode and a purple to break the dry streak. Please be a unique. Nam, another scroll. Oh well. 125 points. How many am I at now? 61, 965, almost 70. Wait, 71, 965, almost 72k. Wait. Wait a fucking second. What the fuck am I looking at? You have a funny feeling. What? Did I just get a third omelet? Yay, 10 uniques. 125 points. Please be something that's actually unique. I beg. Ah, oh, man. Another D clause. Oh well, 125 points. Or 72k now. Okay, yeah, yeah, purple light. Please be something new. Please don't be a dupe. I really want something. Man. Yes, another purple, please. And special top or a new unique. Please something new. Not another arcane. Okay, another purple light. Please, please, please give me something new. I'm begging. No, man. I literally had to tell you I have a nightmare kill because I forgot to equip my arrows when I was putting on my MSB, and that made me realize fuck saving the um, points for the crossbow. I'm gonna just wear it because it's best in slot there instead of using the MSB, so fuck it. Use ether on this. Bow. 125 more league points. And now back to nightmare. And chambers. I don't know. I'm shuffling between them right now. I'm, I don't know what to do. Okay, my first unique sleepy tablet 68 KC. Honestly, I'm happy about that. Not not too ecstatic because it's not game changing, but it does. It is a big quality of life, and it will make the remaining uh, like 100 or so kills I plan on doing here a lot better. So, not upset about that at all. 75 for Sonic KC. It's not looking too good, bros. Oh my god, bro. 85 kill count. I finally got a drop. Volatile orb. It's not worth any points until I get the nightmare staff, which means I have to stay. At nightmare until I get a nightmare staff. It's, it would, it's too good not to do that. Yes, boy! Inquisitor plate skirt! I got an Inquisitor item! That's so fucking good! Two items and 89 kill count now. I literally got two. It was looking so doomed, bro. It was looking so doomed. Now I'm really fucking happy. I am happy as fuck right now. Okay, and that is 100 for Sunny Nightmare killed. Grandmaster achievement. Don't really care about that. 50 more kills. Let me just open the log, actually. Yeah. 49 more kills. And then I'll have the 250 KC task, and then that will be my first stopping point for this. Alright, well there you have it, 149 KC, and that should be 250 total KC at Nightmare, 125 points. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed with my drops. I only got those drops that I mentioned earlier. Let me go get to the log. Just the orb and the legs. The orb is not worth any points unless I get the staff. I don't know if I have time to get the staff. Anyway, I'm going to go back to CMs. Once I have 100 CMs done, I'm going to look at the drops remaining for both bosses, and I'm going to gauge which I'm going to be doing more. 70 CM kills, another white light. Yes, a purple light. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg. Give me something new. Yay, 125 points. I'll happily take that one. Okay, purple. I did the math. There's a 21% chance this is going to remount to some points. Oh man, I got excited for a second. Damn, dupe legs. And that is 80 kill count at Chambers of Zurich. I have 20 more chances to get one of these missing items. It would be really awesome if I got one of the more mega rare. It would be really awesome if I got the ancestral top. There's still the buckler and the KCB, which are very, very common uh, in comparison to the rest of them. And then there is the twisted ancestral kit, which would be another 125 points. So hopefully I get spooned, man. 20, 20 more chances to get spooned. All right, it's been a while since I got a purple light. Please. Please, please, please give me something new. Okay, yes. 125 points for that one. Yes, 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 yes. 90 chambers kill count. Okay, and this is the final CM that I will ever be doing on this league. And that is another white light, unfortunate. 125 league points. Let me open up the final collection log. Again, it's a decent log, but if you consider the fact that I've gained a bulwark and a crossbow in 75 kc uh i really should have stopped at 50 and it really really hurt me that i didn't get one another one of these 250 items 250 250 250 and this would have been a 125 so and this would have also been a 125 it is what it is i have to try to get lucky somewhere else
All right, it's officially been eight and a half hours since I started this grind. I've literally been uncharging glories and charging them at the Fountain of Ruin. It's supposed to be around 10 hours on average for the Eternal Glory. I'm eight hours in. No points so far. You get 250 points if you get the glory, so it's a bit of a gamble. But I am getting pretty close to the drop rate. But the sad part is there's only like 30 hours left. And it's just another place that I think I'm just going to go over the drop rate on. And I don't have enough time to actually like just keep going for it like I normally do. So... This is probably going to affect where I end up, which is dog shit, because every other competitor, like I looked up the other competitors, and they already have their eternal glory. Like, it's just not fair. It is what it is. Okay, I genuinely cannot believe this video game, man. I literally went, like, what, like 10,000, 11,000 charges dry for the eternal glory, which is 250 points that I will never get because I don't have enough time. And then I go ahead and try to camp this tench. I caught 1,001 pearls. This costs 100 and this costs 150. That's 1250 in total, which equates to around 31,000 catches. The tent is 1 in 20,000, so I'm already 1.5x for the rate. That's another 250 points that I will never get because I'm the almost unlucky person in the fucking human existence. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy this fish sack. And I it's just copium at this point, bro. That's another 500 points gone just to RNG in the past day. So depressing. All right, there's just limited time left in the game mode, so I'm just going to do something that's going to give me some guaranteed points, even though it's not necessarily the best. I'm going to go ahead and try to get full infinity. It's going to take like six hours or so, and it's 125 points. It's not ideal, but honestly, I'm just getting fucked left and right, and I need some points to sort of get a higher guaranteed ranking. Okay, that was not fun, but I'm all done now. I'm going to go ahead and buy full infinity. I'm going to make sure I only buy one of each piece or else I'll just be fucked over. All right, that is full infinity bot. I'm not going to wear it just yet. I'm going to put it in the tab with everything else. But yeah, that should be another 125 points saved. Okay, at this point, there's five and a half hours left in the entire league before it shuts down completely. I just logged out, so I'll probably be only logging out one more time before the league ends. I have four more infernos to get for ten infernos, and then whatever remaining time I have, I will just spend uh, trying to charge eternal glory to get the eternal glory that I should have gotten ages ago. And since I'm not logging out anymore, unless I log out by accident, I have no problem just claiming these points right now. I got a little paranoid because I'm scared that I'll like log out and make the legal end early, and I won't claim these points in time. So I'm going to go take these all out right now. And I guess let's see our point gain. Fortunately, this wall-top orb did not amount to anything. First off, full infinity. That is 125 league points. Let's drop this omelet. Use the dust on it. And... That is another 250 league points. You know, some metaphor. I never, I've never had this pet, so it's kind of cool. Probably bring. I don't know if you can bring a pet into the inferno, but I might bring it in if you can. And then there's the Inquisitor skirt, and that is another 125 points. Then the bulwark, which I actually wanted to use in the inferno, another 125 points. The DHCB, another one 125 points, and finally the fish sack for another 125 league points. 73, 340, 125 more points guaranteed from the infernos. And that will most likely be the end of the league, unfortunately. I should have had, like, honestly, a thousand more points. Um, it is what it is. All right, that is 10 Infernos complete, 125 league points. I'm at 73,465. That is the last league points I'll probably gain. I have around two hours and six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and send Eternal Glories, Hail Mary. I definitely deserve one because I've put so many hours into it. But hopefully, hopefully... The game gives me what I deserve. Oh my god, I got Ring of the Gods! I got the Ring of the Gods! I got the Ring of the Gods! Holy fuck! Ha <laughs> ha! That's 125 points! I'm wearing it right now! Just let's fucking go! 73,590 with the fucking hour and 20 minutes to spare. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go run to the glory. I went here because I wanted easier odds of getting points, and I just got it. Alright, this is likely to be the last teleport that I'm going to be doing here because I'm out of time. As you can see, the system updates in 7 minutes. I'm going to do a proper outro for the league, and... Yeah, no eternal glory. Bit unfortunate on that one, but it's alright. So we end on 1197 tasks. We have 73,590 league points. I believe this is the most tasks in the league. I believe there's a medal for the most tasks in the league. So we will see if that is true or not. I'm not exactly confirmed yet, so we don't know for sure. I think our luck was pretty bad for the majority of the league. Let me go through the collection log. The first thing I grinded was the gauntlet. It took me 300 KC to get an enhanced crystal seed, which is around... 2.5x the rate, and then I went to God Wars. We found the God Wars bosses, but essentially, General Gordor, 363 KC. Let me see, Kriara, 557, Krill, 
661, and I believe Sarah Doman. Commander Zilliana, 406 KC. So around 2000 KC for God Wars completion, which is pretty bad. We had 500 Cyrus killed, and we didn't get an Abyssal Dagger, so we had to go ahead and go for... Let me look at the log. 13,000, pretty much 14,000 Abyssal Demons to get the Abbey Dagger. We had to kill 746 superior creatures before we got our first Imbued Heart which was a lot of waste of time. It took us 7,200-ish fossil island wyverns to get our wyvern wizard. Corporeal beast, I didn't get any sigils at 500 KC and I had to go past it, but I did get it at 516, which was very, very fortunate. It took us 300 mediums to get our ranger boots, which made us go for 400 because we were pretty close anyway. And it turned out to be okay. At least it took us 412 KC to get our Tyrannical Ring, which was not ideal. I probably did around 13,000 charges for the Eternal Glory. It's in 1 in 8k, and I didn't get that. That was 250 points. I did around 32,000 catches for the Tench. As you can see here, I got the Fish Sack from there. And I did not get the Tench, which is 250 more points that I lost. For Revenant, as you can see, did not finish the set. This would have gotten me 375 more points. 11,000 to 400 Rev kills. Also a bit unfortunate. The Nightmare, 254kc total. Obviously these are mass, so this is not really important. 154kc, this is okay. We got the Inquisitor piece. We weren't expecting a set. But to get an orb and no Nightmare staff, that would have been 375 points. That's just unfortunate, because if I had gotten better luck elsewhere, I definitely would have gotten time for this, and I would have gotten squeezed in 375 points. If you include that, the bands, the uh, doing 250 artifacts, and they just remove my task. I really think we could have done a lot better with the average RNG. But it is what it is. We ended 73,590. I'm very, very happy with those points. Not the best bank collection. I have 1,020 slots. It's a very big mess. 7.1 billion, uh, sorry, 6.1 billion bank value. Let me search above 10 mil bank value. So we've got all this stuff. We've got the Toro Plate Body. Pretty much all this gear. Nothing too crazy. It's just all the items that are required from tasks. And yeah, I guess that is it for the leagues. There is 2 minutes 26 seconds left in the timer. I'm going to go ahead and log out just to be sure nothing messes up. And that is the end of leagues for me. Okay, so I got 4 hours of sleep. I thought I'd be sleeping a bit more, but I guess my body's still in the uh, slow sleep cycle. So I can finally confirm a few things now that the league is over. I ended up being rank 2, which is insane giving my RNG, but I'm super happy about it. Everyone around me was pretty spooned. Woman Kisser, who I'd say is was pretty lucky, got rank 1, he got an Ellie and Arcane 350 Corp kills, Full Inquisitor, Nightmare Staff, and Orb in 300 KC, and Nightmare, he got Eternal Glory, and he got Full Ancestral in just 50 CMs, but from what I've heard and seen from him, he's actually a really good player, so it doesn't make me feel as bad to lose to him. Nubby was probably the luckiest person in the entire front page, and got spooned at quite literally everything, minus a Scythe. Tom was probably the most spooned person in the first month, but he fell off the second he went unlucky at something. I'm not too sure about Be On It, I don't really know him, and he sort of came out of nowhere, but I'm sure other people do. And of course, Ditter, he was pretty lucky at the start of the league, but the last two weeks of his RNG is so awful with Wyverns, and it was actually so bad that it just completely fucked him over. Shout out to Wolfie too, he, in my opinion, was the only person as unlucky as me in the front page. He got fucked in so many places, and that caused him to give up and play less seriously in the last two weeks. Jagex did announce that they're handing out medals for the top three in different categories, and I'll be getting a silver medal for league points for second place. And after confirming with Woman Kisser, I should be getting a gold medal since I had the most league tasks completed. I had 1197 completed, and Woman Kisser had 1196, so that was super close. And finally, I wanted to mention that the top 100 is permanently saved in game for each league, and Wolfie was nice enough to go through the list and find the rankings for the most overall league points across all the leagues. This league officially puts me as rank 1 for most league points ever gained, and I believe I was rank 2 before. And you'll probably recognize the rest of the names from the list as well. My videos didn't blow up as much as the previous leagues, but I don't really care about that that much. What I do care about is the consistent support I've gotten from those who have been watching the series, and I did notice that it's almost always the exact same people commentating and uh, showing support on every video, and I want to say I, that I appreciate every single one of you guys, and it kept me motivated even when the game was trying to unmotivate me. I don't know what I'll do next. I'll probably burn out for a while, take a break for the time being. But yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see ya.